Arbor Realty Trust stock, ticker symbol ABR. This stock is flat year to date, underperforming the overall market big time. But the last couple of months it is going up and down quite a lot. On the 27th of October, ABR presented quarter results where they beat on EPS and revenue. For the upcoming earnings, analysis think they will miss the estimates. And people love ABR stock because of multiple reasons, and one of them being the dividend. And I understand why with dividend yield at 12.6% and a great dividend growth track record as well. So could this be the perfect moment to buy ABR stock? Well, I'm very excited to see what you guys think about this stock, so please let me know your thoughts in the comments. My name is Thomas and this is Thomas Invest. I'm an investor looking for great stocks at great prices. So what does ABR do? Arbor Realty Trust is a specialized real estate finance company. And this is very important. It is not a REIT, but a finance company. It invests in a diversified portfolio of structured finance assets in the multifamily and commercial real estate markets. If we dive in the most recent earnings report, we see that ABR reported a net income of $0.41 per share and distributable earnings of $0.55 per share. When we checked a more detailed version of these earnings, we see that net interest income is up a decent amount roughly 7% year over year. However, expenses is up significantly more. So this is something to keep in mind. Down the line, earnings per share were up from 0.37 to 0.42 dollars per share. Dividends are also up, pretty much the same ratio from 0.39 to 0.43 dollars per share. And with distributable earnings sitting at 0.55 dollars and the dividend at $0.43, we have a payout ratio of 78%, which is looking pretty good to me. And this is of course one of the most important things with ABR, since it is mainly about the dividends. In here we see that ABR is heavily focusing on the multifamily asset class, with 89% of the portfolio being a multifamily home. Single family is the second biggest with only 9%. And both Texas and Florida combined make up 52% of the geolocation. To me the diversification looks pretty good. And now that we know more about the company it is time to check the fundamentals of this stock. But first if you made it this far into the video I want to thank you a lot for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to receive multiple analysis every week. And also join my Discord channel for free, to meet other people within the community and to talk about stocks. It's completely free, so don't miss it out. Let's continue by diving into the fundamentals. ABR is a 2.55 billion market cap company. PE ratio is at 7, which could indicate that they are undervalued right now. Later in this video I will show you my 3 price targets for ABR, so make sure to watch until the end because PE ratio is only telling a small part of the full story here. Revenue is at 729 million and in this graph we see that revenue went up in the long run. Over a longer period of time margins are pretty steady, I would say, except for the lockdown periods. So to me this looks pretty good, but keep in mind that ever since 2021 it is decreasing to pre-lockdown levels again. EPS is following the same pattern as the margins and revenue, nothing really special to be honest. Analysis expect big differences in EPS growth in the coming years, so this is really interesting. In 2024 they expect a decline of roughly 12%, while in 2025 they expect an increase of 4% again. For the revenue it is a pretty similar story, but it is looking a little bit better I would say. Again, they expect a decline in 2024, but mid single digit growth in 2025. Return on assets is sitting at 1.8%, which is a low number. Return on equity looks really good, and since this is a finance company, we don't focus on the ROYC. Current ratio is at 12, which is looking a bit too high in my opinion, so definitely keep an eye on this number. Right now, ABR has 12 billion in debt 
I prefer companies that can pay on at least a big chunk of their total debt with the total cash. ABR has roughly 900 million in total cash so they can't pay down a big chunk of their total debt. This is something that I don't like. So it is very important that free cash flow is growing, since this is used to pay down debts of course, but also to buy back shares, pay dividends and all other things. And here we see that free cash flow is going up and down in the long run. But in general I would say it's going up. Shares outstanding are increasing, which is not a good thing. But companies like ABR increase shares to raise capital. But when shares outstanding are decreasing, it increases your ownership in the company, increases the EPS, lowers the PE ratio and makes it easier to maintain and increase the dividends. And since we're talking about dividends anyways, dividend yield is sitting at 12.6% which is a great number. Annual payout is at $1.72 and payout ratio is at 78% and not the 95% displayed here. I prefer 50% or lower so right now they have 22% left in cash to buy back shares, pay down debt, do acquisitions and all other things. The 5 year growth rate is at 11% which is a great number. And they increase the dividends for 10 years in a row which is also very nice. And if you take a look at these numbers, the dividends paid since 2012, you see that ABR did increase the dividends at a decent rate overall. In this graph we see the expected dividends in 2023, 2024 and 2025. Of course this is an estimation that can be highly impacted by results, but it gives you a rough indication. It's expected to grow at slightly lower growth numbers, which is still very nice. Overall these dividends look pretty good to me. But how about the historical returns? I decided to compare ABR stock with the overall market, in this case the S&P 500. On the 5 year chart we see that ABR beats the S&P 500 by a slight difference. In total ABR returned 93% including dividends, versus the S&P 500 sitting at 90%. On the 1 year chart it looks pretty different with the S&P 500 returning 18% while ABR is again having only 10% return. On the 6 month chart it is again the S&P 500 that is beating ABR with significant numbers. In total the S&P 500 returned 8% while ABR is at only 2%. And keep in mind this is including dividends. On the 1 month chart both are returning similar numbers with 5 and 4%. So bottom line ABR beats the S&P 500 long term, with a small difference. But short term they are lagging behind. So could this be the perfect time to buy ABR stock? Well let's check the 3 price targets that are created using the Everything Money software. Which is one of the best tools out there. I'm using a low, mid and high assumption to get the 3 price targets. Starting off with revenue growth. For the revenue growth I'm filling in 6, 8 and 10% based on the historical performance, the own outlook but also because of the analysis. For the profit margin I'm filling in 48, 50 and 52. And for the free cash flow margin I'm putting in 58, 60 and 62. For the PE ratio and the price to free cash flow I'm putting in 7, 8 and 9. My desired annual return is 15% since I can get an easy 10% average annual return with owning an ETF. Usually I put in 12.5% but I want to build in a higher margin of safety with this company. Right now ABR stock is at $13.6. I hit analyze and we only see green numbers. We have a low price target of $14.5 to $17.5. We have a mid price target of $18 to $21. And we have a high price target of $22 to $26. To me the low price target is the most justified here, indicating that this stock is undervalued. So my final conclusion is that I love ABR. It is currently in my portfolio and the main reason being the dividend. Since it is a high risk high return company in my opinion, I'm trying to keep them under 5% of my total investments within my portfolio. I really love the focus on multifamily homes and they have some great times ahead in my opinion with that niche focus. Most fundamentals look good and they are performing strong and steady. However I do think that in the coming years growth will slow down a little bit. 
Dividends also look really good with 12% dividend yield and 78% payout ratio. On top of that, they keep increasing the dividend yield. From a valuation point of view, things also look really good, even with the low price target. About a month ago, I bought some more shares of ABR, since the valuation was looking really good, and still is to be honest. In the coming weeks, I think I will add more shares, but always in small amounts, since I don't want my position to become too big, because of the higher risk that comes with this stock. And remember to always do your own research and never fully trust on what I or other YouTubers say about a stock. I'm not a financial advisor and this content is just for entertaining purposes only. I hope you liked this video and I did bring some insights of the company to you. I would really appreciate a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to get notified when I'm posting a new video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.